I quit. I'm so overwhelmed. Forget this thing. Oh my God. How many times a month, a week, a day do you want to simply tap out on your business? Say enough of this, this business that I started with a fire in my belly and enthusiasm and passion. Now I feel so completely overwhelmed. I'm resentful. I can't stand this. You know, I think the reason that 90% of entrepreneurs actually fail is because they get started and they don't have a real expectation of how long it may take or how much harder it can be. And if they don't have tools to navigate this properly, well, burnout is, it's inevitable. In fact, I easily burned out four times before the major burnout, which is why you're, you're learning from Melanie McCool, the entrepreneur's hypnotherapist that's here to help you to accelerate business growth without burnout right now, because the last one took me completely out. I was taking my health was taken out completely and I was taken out of my career. And so it makes perfect sense to me that I see these statements all the time that I'm just overwhelmed. I'm ready to quit. And then having a whole slew of people chiming in on the conversation as if it, it's just, it's just a way it's got to be. The rhetoric in the world is that it's hustle, grind. You've got to work hard and sacrifice everything you love to succeed. And you know, at some point, that way of living and thinking and being can really wreak havoc on your happiness. And it's no wonder that not knowing any other way, you might think I'm just going to quit, you know? And when you start in business, now I started back in 2000, I was a, had a child in my stomach and I was absolutely determined to be a work at home mom to raise my daughter Ananda. And I started and I thought, well, what, what could I be passionate about? And I, I found it's easy. It was, it was health and wellness. I had been uh, learning and studying health and wellness since I was about 15, 16 years old. And I thought I'm going to empower people to, you know, take charge of their health and wellness. And I'm going to set up a website. And I, well, just had all these plans. And I thought, it, you know, I'm just going to be successful like all those other smiling, happy people I saw on the Internet. Right. And I thought but they just know something I don't know yet. And that's true. But like most entrepreneurs at start, I didn't really have a understanding of how fundamental sales and marketing strategy are, uh, nor about the tech hurdles. It gets really uh, it can be, feel very overwhelming when all you really want to do is, you know, is empower people, coach, help people. And instead, you get this voice in your head that says, you know, oh, my gosh, I don't want to be a slimy salesperson or what's marketing anyway. Right. And this eventually this inner talk, it becomes a source of 24 seven stress. And ultimately, I believe this is why people crash and burn. And the, the crash and burn is something that I'm here to help you to avoid altogether. See, what I didn't know when I got started back in 2006 is there is a proven way to get to the root of that aversion to sales, to marketing, to technology, uh, a proven way to change you know, our money story and all of that that is fast. And it's simple and it's really profound. Now, I'll tell you, I started in 2000. It took me uh, about six years to make my first six figures. And the reason I you know, got there was because I persevered. I stuck with it because I was determined to be a stay-at-home mom, a work-at-home mom. And actually, also, the other turning point there was that in 2006, it became crucial, integral. I had to create more income in my household because I was the sole breadwinner. And so there, there are these times in our lives when you can acknowledge that there might be a push, a reason, uh, a shift in your, in why you're doing what you're doing. And that's important to note as well. But those hurdles that it, you know, that I had to grow through, a lot of them could have been avoided majorly. Um, because if I had known the secret 
to transforming at the level of thought in the first place, I would have overcome that, you know, what I think of as poverty programming, the anxiety around money, my beliefs about money, uh, the beliefs that it takes hard work to earn money, all the things that kept me from really moving through easier. And ultimately, if I had known what I'm sharing with you, I could have avoided burnout altogether. Now, I'm telling you, I burned out easily four times before the big one. And the symptoms you may recognize already, you may be exhausted, you may find yourself, you know, just really pissed off about your business, resentful of it, you know, just I, I hate this shit. It may come up and, and oh, keep that quiet, because <laughs> if you say that to the, you know, the hustle and grind people, they'll tell you, keep going. You know, you can sleep when you're dead. And if you say it to the regular people who aren't entrepreneurs, what are they going to do? Oh, I know. Just, you know, that stuff's hard. Throw away your passion. Do something else. Now, which, which of these are you going to listen to? I'm going to tell you neither. <laughs> I'm going to tell you neither, that there is a different way. There's a better way. And so what I'd love to introduce you to is my five-step formula that will help you to accelerate business growth without burnout. And without giving you those actual steps, I want you to understand the underlying reasons for these, because why take the steps if you aren't, you know, absolutely committed to the outcome yourself? And so the first fundamental underneath there is that hustle and grind culture is deadly. And I do mean deadly. Heart attack is a leading, leading cause of death for women. We take on stress. We get stressed in different ways and it is actually deadly. And so the social grind culture is deadly. We're going to learn that that's not even part of the formula for success. And two, there is going to be stress. There's going to be stress. Stress is going to come from the outside and from the inside. And you've got to have a way to mitigate that daily stress because chronic mismanaged stress is the cause for burnout. Okay, burnout is chronic mismanaged stress. And what we also know about stress is that stress is a killer. It will literally take your health. It causes inflammation, decreased immunity, headaches, insomnia, loss of libido. We could go on, and not to mention it makes you a real negative and cynical person, right? Who might be snapping at people that you would never have wanted to snap at before you started this business thing? So really, if you find yourself in burnout, it's, it's no wonder why you would want to quit, right? You would feel like it's the only option that you have. But there is another option because I'm going to give you ways that you can mitigate that daily stress. And then most importantly, understanding that your inner voice is everything. And if instead of feeling like this is hard and I'm no good at this and I should be further along than I am, uh, you know, I hate technology. I don't want to be a slimy salesperson. Instead of all of those thoughts, what if instead your thoughts were, this is fun. I'm excited about this. I'll tell you the outcome will be really very, very different. And so I'm going to invite you to attend my full zero burnout business growth workshop. I'm going to give you those five steps. I'll outline them. And this is going to help you to really tune in to how you can personalize this for you, for your business, for your experience of life. We all have, you know, different things going on in our world that we're trying to navigate this business in. But what I'd love for you to see is that your business can bless your life instead of taking away everything that you love. And so ultimately, uh, I'm Melanie McCool. I'm the entrepreneur's hypnotherapist and peak performance coach. And ultimately, I'd love to make, help you to make sure that your path to six and seven figures is a healthy, happy one. And so I'll see you inside the workshop.